All right, today you're going to learn video basics with Movie Edit Pro version 16 plus. In this quick tutorial, you're going to learn how to insert a video on the timeline, how to insert a title on the timeline, and you're going to learn how to edit both of them. Also, you're going to learn how to adjust the sound of your videos, edit your video clips, and then learn how to export your video to your favorite format with Movie Edit Pro. So, let's get right down to it we've got movie edit pro version 16 plus open and this is the intro screen this is what you'll see when you first open the program and it'll ask you what do you want to do you can either select don't show this message again or you can opt to leave it open I always leave it open myself because sometimes I like to work on the last video that I was uh, editing when I closed the program and that's by default it'll show it right here and by the way, look at it. Movie Edit Pro version 16 plus video basics. I don't really want to work with that right now. I don't want to use this menu to create a new project, so I'm going to just click cancel. And we're in the program. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to go up to the upper right hand corner and click the edit button. And this dumps me into the timeline mode. This is the way I like to edit all my movies. You'll find it's very useful editing your movies this way. If it's not in the timeline mode when you open Movie Edit Pro, just make sure you have this icon highlighted under your preview window. And you'll be in the timeline mode. Now, let's drag a movie down onto the timeline and edit it, or a video clip. You have to be on the Import tab to do that. And I'm in a folder that I have videos in. I'm going to, I'm going to grab Intro 3 and put it on Track 1 and let it go. Now, you're going to get this window, or this little pop-up window. It says the active movie has a resolution of whatever, and the file is whatever. I always like to click Adjust, because what it does, it adjusts my preview window to the actual size of the video. Alright, so now we've got a video on track one, and uh, we're ready to do some editing with it. First off, I want to put a title in front of the, the video. So I'm going to left click and hold on the video and I'm going to just drag it to the right a little bit. Okay, I've made a little space on the timeline in front of the video so I can insert a title. And if you look on the timeline here, you see it starts at zero and it works its way across the screen. And that's exactly what the timeline is. It's a timeline. It shows the video in chronological order from left to right, just like reading a book. So now I've got my video on track one. I've got a little bit of space right here for my title. We're going to go up to the Titles tab. We're going to click on it. And we've got several different folders under the Title tab. General, Standard, Movement, Rotation, Font, Combination, Captions, and 3D. Well, for right now, all I want to do is a standard title. So I'm going to click on the standard tab here. And I'm just going to take a standard title and put it on the timeline. Now, there's two different ways you can do this. You can double click it, and it'll automatically insert itself on the timeline where the start marker is. Or you can left click and hold and drag. My preference is to left click, hold, and drag. All right, so now we've got the title on track one and we need to edit the title as you notice when you drop the title onto the timeline it automatically dumps you into the editing mode right here in the preview window and I really like that so let's edit it let's say video intro okay I'm done I've typed in my title I'm gonna click the check mark and there it is Okay, you see how tiny the video is, or the title is? What we're going to do now, we're going to make it bigger. We're going to left click, or we're going to put the mouse pointer on it until you get the double arrow mark. And we're going to make it bigger. Just by dragging it out. Okay, so now we've got a title on track one in front of the video. Let's change the color and the font. So. Once you drop the title on there, it automatically will put you in this menu uh, under the title tab. And this is where you can change the font. Let's, uh, let's change the font to, I don't know, let's just change it. Let's go to Bandicoot. Oh, okay, that's a little different, but I don't like it. Let's, let's change it to something else. Um, 
I don't know. Let's do Bobcat. Oh, okay, I like that one. So let's use Bobcat. But you know what? I don't like the color. So let's change the color. So we're going to click on this little button right here. It brings up your, your color palette. I like yellow. Let's, uh, let's do yellow because yellow stands out. Okay, there we go. We just put a video or we just put a title on track one in front of our video. We changed the font. We uh, actually typed in what we wanted for the title and we changed the color. Now I'm going to show you a little neat trick here. Okay, so now we've got our title on track one in front of the video. And what we want to do now is let's take a close look at it. Now you notice you've got a little uh, object here, one here, and one here. Those are called handles. Now you've got three at the top of every object that will be on the timeline. You see one up the upper left, one in the middle, one in the upper right. Okay, the video still uh, the video has those handles as well. And what you can do, you can grab those handles and move them. Now you notice the little line right there. That's called a fade. I'm fading into the title. Watch. See that the start you don't see it, and then as you go through it slowly appears we're fading into the title and then we're going to fade out on the other side pretty cool right okay so now we've got our title on track one we faded into it we faded out of it and now we're starting the video all right but for some reason the sounds too loud well as with the sound it also has the little handles on it if you grab the one in the center left click and hold you notice it makes it bigger or smaller on the timeline well that adjusts the sound and you can do that to adjust the sound let's listen to it not very loud is it let's turn it up pretty cool pretty cool alright so now we know how to adjust the sound of the video while it's on the timeline but you know what this video is too long now there's different ways that you can adjust your video while it's on the timeline, the length. I'm going to show you a couple of quick and dirty ways to do it. The first way is to grab that lower right hand corner, that right there, that little triangle, left click and hold, and just move it. Now I'm actually shortening the length of the video while it's on the timeline. There's another way to do it. See the start marker? Let's move the start marker and put it right here okay that's where I want to adjust the video see the little razor blade let's click on it alright I just split that video see and now what I'm going to do I'm just going to hit the delete key while it's highlighted in uh, orange and it's gone it's just that easy now let's look at the uh, timeline again and if you notice you have these little like open and close parentheses I'm not exactly sure what they call them, but they're on uh, they're just right above track one. That's the actually start point for your video and that's the end point. That's where you want them to have your video just right. So now if you uh, want to automatically adjust them from the, the start of the first object to the end of the last object, you can click on this uh, symbol at the bottom right of the screen and that will adjust your timeline to show you the entire video with all the objects on there on the timeline and it'll uh, reset the starting and ending markers from the start of the first object to the end of the last object so now we've got our video it's on the timeline we've got an intro title we've got our video and we're ready to export it so what we're going to do we're going to go up to file we're going to click on file we're going to export the movie and we're going to export it as a Windows Media export. Now under here you can export it under whatever resolution you would like to. Uh, it's really your choice. For this presentation I'm going to do 1280 by 720 at 30 frames per second and we're going to save it. This is the destination right here. We're going to click on that folder and we're going to save it somewhere. Uh, let's see. Let's go to desktop and just say save it as video basics with MEP then you're going to click save 
Now I only like to export the selected range. I always make sure that's checked. Now if you don't do that, everything that's on the timeline will be exported, okay? No matter where it's at. Now applying the anti-interlace filter or shut down PC after a successful export, that's really up to you. I basically just check the uh, export the selected range. I've named it and then I click OK. Now if you watch down at the bottom of the screen it says mixing down and time remaining. Since this is a short video it's not going to take a whole lot of time to actually export this to a Windows Media format. But this is your time, this is your uh, progression bar. It lets you know how far it's been or how long it's been progressing and how much is left to do it. Well, that's Video Basics with Movie Edit Pro version 16 Plus. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and remember to rate, comment, and subscribe to support my channel here. And we'll catch you later, okay?